Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Now very recently I put out a vegetarian keto vlog and many of you watched that and you saw a paneer paratha in there, a keto paneer paratha and you guys said show us how to make that. So here I am today to do just that. Now think about the naan, the Indian flatbread. Think about paratha, a flatbread that's a staple in northern India. And think about the uttapam, which is a staple in southern India. One recipe to rule them all, one recipe to find them, one demon stealer to bring them all and in headbangers kitchen bind them. What does that even mean guys? Well basically all these things are the same because it's all a simple coconut flat bread and we're going to be making that today. And I'm going to show you how to make a paneer paratha from it, a plain simple naan from it and also an uttapam from it. And guess what? My friends Matt and Megha have done something similar and they've made a garlic naan the same way. Make sure you check out their recipe as well. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's go and make this delicious coconut flatbread. So to make our flatbread, we're going to need half a cup of coconut flour, two tablespoons of psyllium husk, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of warm water, just heat it up for 30 seconds in the microwave, Mix all this stuff together. Don't forget to add salt like I did, but all of this should come together into a smooth dough ball. If you feel it's a little dry, you can always add more water. Add your water in two batches because well, you can't remove water from this, you can add water to it if it's too dry. Once that's done, I am going to cut it up into four balls because well I feel that this makes four good sized parathas and you can of course uh, well make whatever you like out of it. Now we're going to leave this to rest for about 15 minutes and while that's happening I'm going to make the paneer filling for my paneer paratha. So I'm going to take some paneer, I'm going to season it with some salt and some cumin powder. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of diced onions chop it very finely and some coriander and then just give all of that a good mix and our paneer stuffing is ready. Now it's time to roll out our coconut flatbread and I'm going to use parchment paper to do so. So squish it, squash it, flatten it, roll it then you can cut it for a nicer more even shape and that's how we get the regular coconut flatbread or the keto naan as people are calling it. Just get your pan on the gas, heat up some butter, olive oil, ghee, whatever you have and fry the naan in that. And you want to wait till it gets nice and golden brown on one side and then flip it over and I am adding some butter just so you get that sort of desi taste to it. You know the butter naan? Oh yeah, butter naan. Love it. And that's it, the naan is ready. Now for the paneer paratha. So just press out the dough a little bit and then stuff it with your paneer stuffing and then fold everything over so you get like a big stuffed momo almost or a dumpling and then you squash that and you roll that out till you get the desired thickness. Don't get a little panicky if some of the paneer starts to show or come out of the dough because that is going to crisp up on the pan and it will be delicious. Anyway, get your pan on the gas and heat up your ghee. I'd say ghee because ghee has got a desi twist to it. But otherwise butter, olive oil, anything works. Same procedure, fry it on one side, it will be lovely and golden. Flip it over, let the same thing happen and then it's done. So for the uttapam, you flatten your dough and then you add your toppings which is tomato, a little bit of green pepper and some regular red onion. And then I'm going to mix this into the dough almost, like mash it in. And then just roll the dough out like you would for the normal one. Between two sheets of parchment paper or just squeeze it out with your hand and that's it. Your uttapam is ready for cooking. Now ideally use coconut oil if you can because that will enhance the coconutty flavor but otherwise regular oil will do, just spray it on there. Place your uttapam in the pan and then if there are any empty spots where you see no filling you can put some filling in there and you can press that down into the dough. And you can do this while one side gets golden brown then all you gotta do is flip it over and yep, 
that's pretty much it. You can throw in a little coriander because that cooked coriander is a sort of hallmark taste of the uttapam. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Your uttapam is ready. And there you have it. Your keto flatbread done three ways. As a naan, as a paneer paratha and as a uttapam. Anyway guys, it's time to taste and boy, I've been sweating it out in the kitchen making these. It's so hot in Mumbai. Anyway, let me taste the uttapam first. Oh, yummy. Totally reminds me of my South Indian. Well, I'm not South Indian, but delicious. It's soft. The onion, the kothmir. Of course, if you like spicy food, chop up a green chili and add it too. Now, the paneer paratha. Mm. Oh, yeah. I love these little bits of paneer that have sort of got caramelized on the stove, you know, which was sticking out a little bit. Delicious. I'm not going to taste the plain one because I don't have anything to taste it with. Anyway, this is as close as you're going to get to a naan or a paneer paratha or a uttapam. And you know what? This is spot on. And I hope you guys really like this recipe. I hope you'll make it. Remember to tag us on Instagram or on Facebook. Anyway, it's too hot in Mumbai right now, so I'm going to go back to the air conditioning and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking.